Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. You know, Amber, I'm always up for a good vampire movie or <laughs> anything. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus? I love Hocus Pocus, so I'm not shocked to see it on top. Yeah, I've seen it like <laughs> twice. I, mm. I think it's a very funny movie, but I just it's not uh, like one that I watch every year. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have to watch it again this year. Yeah, just for me. Yeah, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're headed out this weekend to do some Halloween activities, mm -hmm. it's going to be a little warm. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive into this forecast this morning. Here's a look at our Way 31 SkyCam network. Clouds are covering the sky in most of the Tennessee Valley. Decatur, you're starting to see a little bit of sunshine. Looks like we got a friend on our Gunnersville camera this morning, but the clouds will stay with us for most of the day. We'll still get to see the sunshine here or there, though. Temperatures to start you out this morning. Well, we're on the mild side across the Tennessee Valley. It's 57 right now in Scottsboro, 63 in Huntsville, 56 in the River City of Decatur. These temperatures are not going to stay in the 50s and 60s very long because we're warming up in a big way for the afternoon hours today. Sand Mountain, you're looking at those low 80s. 80 in Rainsville, 83 in Scottsboro. New New Hope about 83 as well. We'll take a trip to Limestone, Madison and Morgan County. Thoughtful, you're looking at 83 for your high today. 83 as well in Athens this afternoon. For you in the Shoals, well, it will be a little warmer out that way. Florence, 85 for your high this afternoon. So it's going to feel more like summer than fall, but changes are on the way as we head into next week. 31 triple Doppler quiet and dry this morning. We're staying dry through the rest of the day, so you're not going to need that umbrella if you're headed out to do any Halloween activities. High pressure still in control of our weather across the southeast, but there it is. Our cold front that we've been telling you about all week long, and it's going to move through the Tennessee Valley for the start of your week next week. Now, right now, though, for your weekend, clouds, like I said, staying across the Tennessee Valley this afternoon, but we will see a little bit of sunshine. Temperatures aren't going to hold back any either. As we head into the overnight hours tonight, all the rain stays to our north and our west, and it will be quiet again on your Sunday and a warm one again as well. Few clouds will hang around through the afternoon hours on Sunday as well, staying dry until Monday afternoon. Here's the big change. That cold front starts to move through as we head into Monday morning. The rain chances come behind the cold front, and to start you out Monday, we're at 53 degrees in Huntsville at 8 a.m. Watch what happens through the day. That cold front moves to our south and the cold air starts to move in. At 5 p.m. on Monday, we're at 48 degrees in Huntsville. So make sure you take your jacket with you to work because you'll need it by the time you're headed home. And we continue to fall as we head into Tuesday. So for those trick-or-treaters Tuesday evening, it is going to be a chilly night. Here's what we're looking at for your trick-or-treat forecast. Temperatures falling through the evening into those 40s. So make sure to bundle the kiddos up as you take them out and about. Now our fire danger next week will also be high. With that extreme drought, we could see wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour as we move into Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday, and very dry air will be in place. So please make sure that you are staying cautious if you're going to be spending time outdoors. Here's what we're looking at for the next 10 days. Not only will our fire danger be high, but our temperatures will be very chilly. Now give yourself a few extra minutes on Wednesday and Thursday morning to warm that car up because we will be dealing with some frost across the Tennessee Valley. We got a lot going on lot over the next on. 10 days. Those kids are going to be so thrilled when their parents ask them to put on a jacket. That <laughs> was me growing up. It always seemed to get oh, yeah. cold right around Halloween. Oh yeah, no, I have vivid memories of shivering, walking <laughs> down the street like, no, I'm fine. I don't want to put the jacket on. <laughs> Thanks, Amber.